Hey folks, new project today. Here's what we're working on. Alright, nobody's seen this. I've had this for a long time. Uh, you might have seen it in the background out here. But this is my little Magnatrack backhoe. Not a real big machine, but it's a handy little thing. And what we're going to do today, we're going to adjust the tracks on it. They are really, really bad, loose, they're rubbing on top, and it's just this one side. And what we got to do to do that, right here, we've got to take this cover off, and there's a tensioner right here. It's got a big spring and stuff in it. I sprayed it with some lubricant because it is really, really rusty looking, so hopefully it ain't going to be too bad. But what you got to do, we'll, we'll take this cover off, then you got to get a wrench on it here and hold it, and the way I'm looking at it, I should be able to take these two nuts and loosen them up, and the spring ought to push this forward, which I'll have to back the machine up to get it out, but it'll move the sprocket forward and should tighten the chain up. So that's what we're doing today. So I will go get my tools, and I'll get this off, and I'll turn the camera back on once I get on that part of it. We'll hopefully see what we can do here. So see you in a bit. Hey folks, I'm back. Got the tools. I'm gonna get started. There's actually two of these. There's another one. I only seen half of it. Right down in here. And what you gotta do to tighten these, you have to get a wrench up here on this one and hold it. And there's two nuts. Break the back one loose. And then take this front one and go round and round and round. Keep making that spring, you know, tighter. Keep compressing it. And I got to do both of them, so I'm going to turn the camera off and get them both done. But what that'll do, that mashes that spring and actually puts a little more tension on it and pushes this bolt, this center piece that's just in the middle of the sprocket, pushes it forward. So but I got to do both of them. And this back one, it's going to be fun. Oh, so, but I'll go ahead and get them done. And then when I get done, I'll show you the end results of all of it. But it's probably going to be a while, so. And like I said, I'll get them done. I'll turn the camera back on, so I'll see you here in a bit. All right, folks, we're back, and I got it fixed. Best time I'm going to get it fixed. You can see now I got quite a bit of gap in my tracks. So before it was just, you know, on it, just rubbing it real bad. So at least it's off of it. But unfortunately, this has been adjusted several times or something on this machine, so... I've got it all I can get it. I was out of adjustment. I didn't get very many threads out of it. So later I'm going to have to come back and put some washers under this nut or do something to make some more tension on that spring to get it up. But uh, it was, let's see here. These two were half inch. These are three quarter and that's three quarter in case anybody wants to know. And the way I had to do the one back in here, you know, the only way you're going to get on it is take you a socket and a ratchet. Get you an extension and get on it like that and you got to get out here in front of the track because there's absolutely no room with a wrench. And then stick your, uh, well, let me show you here, take your open end of your wrench and just go down there and hold that and use your ratchet. But like I said, I've, I, I did get it tighter, but that's all the adjustment I had, so it's going to work for a while, but later I'm going to have to come back and do something. I got a little time to figure it out, That I need some more adjustment than I got, but I got all I could get today. Like I said, when you do this, just, you know, hold on to that and tighten it up and compress your spring, and that pushes forward, so then you back your tracks up, you know, and it'll adjust itself, so... I got quite a bit more than I had, but not as much as I wanted, so I guess that's how you kind of adjust the tracks on it. Like I said, hopefully you'll have more adjustment than I did. I didn't have much left, so I'll have to do something later, but it'll get me by for a while. So I guess that's it for this video. So as always, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.